So there are the rules that are transcribed, and essentially what the rules are are this. There are only 21 million coins ever produced. And there's deflation asset. What I mean by that is, uh -huh. how do those 21 million coins come into the world? Today, there are not 21 million coins out there. Right. There's less. So probably, probably four or five million lost because- There's loss, but it's also there's coins that haven't been produced yet. Uh -huh. And so like, how do you produce coins? So when Bitcoin was first created, there are no coins out there. There was ever only ever a cap of 21 million, right. but there was zero. And then so right. they had this thing called mining. And what mining was essentially you get a bunch of computers and you securitize the network. And so what does that mean is right now there's millions and millions of computers around the world. And what they do is if you transfer Bitcoin to Eric, all of those computers have to agree that that happened. Mm -hmm. And then they go on to the next transaction. Now, how, how did they agree it happened? So there's right? two things. There's how do you confirm that specific yeah. transaction? Then how do you confirm the historical transactions? So one is, how do you confirm that specific transaction? If you transfer to his wallet, you basically are sending the coins to his wallet and then it's getting inked into, into the ledger. So that's why kind of it's it's not your keys, not your wallet is the whole thing, which uh -huh. is like you have to control where your Bitcoin is and how it's transferred. But the other key thing is who stops the network from going back and saying, you know what? Five transactions ago, you actually didn't send a Bitcoin to Eric, you sent it to me. How do you prevent that from happening? And so that's what all these computers do.